Greetings everyone, in this video I will show you my hair creation workflow for this character. I will divide this tutorial into two parts, the blocking out process of hairs with primitive shapes and using MM curve brushes on top of them. Special thanks to Dylan Ekran for the MM brush he is providing for free and a special thanks to Dan Adder from whom I learned this technique. The purpose of this tutorial is to make it short and quick but explain you all the key points of the workflow. So I am gonna be using an MM curve brush by Dylan Ekran, link is in the description. Download the brush and store it into your ZBrush library. Now by default this brush runs something like this. I will do some tweaks to make it more appealing. Watch carefully now. Go to stroke and dock it on the either side. Go to curve and change curve steps to 0.27. Go to curve modifier, click curve follow. Click FV to flip vertically and change curve to something like this. Now when you use the brush you would see stroke something like this and that's what we want. Now that we have set our brush, I'll get back to my character. The first most important thing is the blockout. Blockout is needed in almost everything. Either you sculpt the entire body or just the hairs. Blockout lets you see the big shape first and gives you enough satisfaction or confidence to continue. Here I am blocking out the big shape first. The concept art I am using is from Ashlyn. Check her art station, I really love the expressions on her artworks. Now in the blockout process, I always try to figure out the big shape first, then the smaller, then the smallest. Because as humans, we always see the big shape first and details later. For the blockout, I apply the same rule either I am sculpting animal, human, furs, hairs or anything. I try to see the big shape first. At the moment, I am looking at my references and on the skin trying to replicate the shapes. Observation is the key to success if you are an artist. And to improve your observation, sculpt a lot or even you can sketch half hour a day. Just sketch anything. Sketching does help. I do it sometimes but it is not necessary or needed to be good in sculpting. Now I am almost done with the block art, we can see a proper structure, a base of what we will about to get when we use IMM curve brushes on them. Now I will use the head tools brush, we have a majority of these brushes. I use mostly thin A and simple A. So while selecting simple A brush, I will do the stroke settings which I have explained to you in the previous part. Go to stroke, dock it and I will just quickly go to curve and change curve steps to 0.277 and go to curve modifier and change the curve fall off i will flip it by clicking flip vertically and just add another point here and just click and drag upstairs i like the curve like this okay now we are all set to add the hair strands using mm brushes all we have to do is uh, just make sure your uh, heads block out are selected Go to stroke, go to picker and make sure, go to depth and make sure it is uh, switch it to cunt Z from 1Z. Okay, 1Z will add a Z point when it begins but uh, using the continuous Z it will just snap onto the surface. And now I will just make a stroke, see the magic and it will head the air strain like this now there is a trick to it okay i will undo it the longer the stroke will be the thinner it will get and the shorter the stroke will be the thicker it will get for example this was the long stroke so it is a thinner and uh, if i make a shorter stroke like this it will be thicker okay i can always just increase the brush stroke make it red and click it to make it more thinner or just drag it down to make it more uh, shorter and thinner and this is how i will add all the mm curve brushes like this okay and uh, i will just fill it the major uh, parts like this and like this and uh, if you want to remove the curve just click anywhere on the surface and it will remove it and uh, you can make overlap it you can just go here and just overlap it or you can just like this 
and it's all about trial and error this is the part where you have to be patient and be good at observation because uh, you have to fill these all hair block out with this mm brushes and by one by one i will just try to add it okay now you are not restricted to add one brushes one stroke uh, you can add multiple it for example here i will add i will just isolate this part and i will make a big strokes like this and on top of that i will make big stroke like this so we have two heads on the same surface now and we can just tweak it by going into move brush and uh, there is another brush if you press b m there is a move topology brush okay it only move topology where is it here it is move topology it only move the individual topology for example if i choose move topology i can just move and place individual health strands without other brushes to be in effect and just like that you have to be fill it now i will just push this strand aside and uh, all i can do is uh, i can just duplicate this strand i will just duplicate this strand and uh, i will just auto group it to make it all poly group at once and uh, fill it with the same colors okay now we we can see it better all the hair strands what i could do is i can just select it and copy it and uh, i will use the transpose tool and i can just make it thinner and just like that i will try to add more strands and do a time lapse because it is getting boring Now after filling it with the MM cutoff brushes and uh, you could see that uh, the hairs look completely different now it is looking more appealing with all those sharp planes and you could say that uh, we could have used edge polish or trim brush to make this effect yes of course we can do but I always say that work smarter and not harder and if you have this brush uh, you should utilize it and what you could do as a final step is completely optional delete the base okay the base we have made for the hair which is working is the base for these hair strands delete it for example I press shift f on your keyboard isolate the binet part like this we have made for example like this and just hide it and click delete hidden to delete it you could go to geometry modify topology and click delete hidden i have just made a shortcut here just like that select another primitive and delete it like that select another primitive which is beneath the working as a base delete hidden and just like that you could delete all the beneath primitive which will give you a more dynamic hair look and for example i am deleting here and delete hidden and it is deleted this is what i do with all my models and this is how i make hairs and after deleting all the primitive uh, you would see something like this this is looks like a final version of course i deleted the base meshes beneath some of them some of them i kept it but i polish it more okay the single single hair strands i used move brush and uh, i just uh, 
polished it more i gave it more time the more time you give the more better it gets don't rush your models okay if you feel tired take a break and comes next day and uh, always uh, mark it finish when you are satisfied completely so let's recap we edit the base meshes as a hair base and then we edit the hair tubes we tweak the hair tubes and fill it with all the base meshes and in the end we deleted those base meshes and gave it a more dynamic hair look so this is folks i hope you like my tutorial and i hope you spread this video spread this channel to all your friends and uh, relative or anyone who want to learn zbrush and especially want to create the stylized hair in zbrush and uh, i will see you on the next video please take care until next time goodbye